Hey gang, happy Friday. Oh my gosh. How did you love the try the TRX stuff this week? It's been crazy. My butt and arms are really feeling it. And uh, I think I might get on my bike after this and just spin out my legs because yeah. Anyways, so Fridays always we finish off the week with a complete band workout so that can be a multitude of different types of bands so what you're going to need today is any type of long elastic band so we're actually going to be moving over to the right here for the arm section because I have something attached to the door so if you remember from yesterday's uh, TRX I put up the um, the, uh, the ribbon there to hold it so we're just gonna use that again for our lat pull down so I put a couple bands there I tested a couple of them out to see which one was gonna be have the most resistance because not all um, bands are the same so that's what I did so you're gonna want to have that set up you want to have your stability ball and your arena strength bands so if you haven't got yours yet these are super comfortable and amazing uh, go to the link above get yours today they come in set of three and with a great uh, carrying case and a little workout book but I tend to use both of these. So this is heavier and this is lighter and this is super, super strong. Like this doesn't even move. So you have those on the side. Um, look into, I will look into getting like uh, providing a link for some of these because we're going to move into some other, um, you know, they're good to use as well. And of course your electrolytes. So this is my special mix it's a repair however you can use it all the time because it has collagen for tissue repair and turmeric and tart cherry which is great for soreness and uh, been experiencing some of that so if you're someone who is working out with me five days a week this is something you definitely want to be looking into and I'll provide a link below all right so let's get into it right we have Actually, our work is going to be about 36 minutes with instruction in between, so a little bit longer. Um, we have a double on the abs, so that means that we have three workouts, but we're doing a right and a left. So a little bit longer for the abs, which is going to be ooh, great for the weekend. So we're going to start off with our donkey kicks, then alternating uh, single deadlifts, bands with dumbbells. Oh yeah, you're going to need your dumbbells. Um, and then dumbbell swing squat. Love researching this stuff. Okay, arms, we got our lat pull down, so we're gonna move over to the corner over here, close to the door, and we're gonna bring our stability ball, so we're gonna do stability ball band shoulder press, boom, boom, and then switching straight up into a tricep extension with our bands. Then for the abs, Russian twist. So you can either bring a you know, um, I'm going to use a stability ball, but you can use anything to hold between your legs. Um, then we got the wood chopper with the band. So we're going to focus on our right and our left, really working our obliques and then a lying hand to foot. That's my, <laughs> that's my fancy word for it. I don't know. Um, and, uh, so we've got our, oh, oh God, my glutes are really hurting from this week. All right, so we got our Tabata timer here. We're going to get started with our warm up, which is definitely going to be needed for 90 seconds. So let's get to warming up our ooh, legs and arms. Rotating around. Good. It's going to be so important. Boom, boom, boom. Let's work on those legs. Oh, gosh. If I can 
rolling my spin bike right here. I sit on a bike. Oh, who has a bike at home? <sighs> Spinning is so amazing. Cardio, 20 seconds, guys. <sighs> Working out those legs. Do you believe it? Was, today is snowing here. All right. Good. I'm just going to grab some water. And this has the most amazing taste. Mango, if you like it. Okay. So donkey kicks. You have your band. Okay. Stepping on it. And you're going to hold it and kick. Okay? I really want you to think about bringing those knee in, crunch, kicking out. Okay? So this is a double. We'll be focused on the right and the left. And really tighten those abs the whole time. Okay? So then the next one, we're going to be grabbing our band. So one of the two. Easier, harder. Come right here. Grab your dumbbells. So whatever weight you want to start with, I'm going to use uh, tens. And basically, we're going to be down, up, thrust the hips forward, and alternate. Okay? So we're going to be alternating. Working those hamstrings, slight bend in the knee, keep the head up, core tight, good. So that is our deadlift. And then we can keep this right here. And we're going to keep our, I think I'm going to go down to 10s for this, and you'll see why. So we're going to go down and up, down and up. Okay, so you want to start with a light weight for shoulders. Okay, so I might even start with a fives and move to tens for round three. Okay, so it's better to start light and while your arms are warming up through the two sets, move to something heavier to challenge you for the last set, okay? So then you know your art, your shoulders are, re are ready for it and you don't have to worry about straining or pulling muscles or injury or anything like that, okay? So that's super important for your shoulders. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. All right, let's do it. Donkey kicks. All right. Get down here, kick it out, and out. So the nice thing is you can make these bands a lot tighter, bring it in and out, bring the head up, and kick. Boom. And look up, bring it in, out. Breathe. Good. 15. Let's do this. Remember to take the weekend off. Let our body recover. I hope you're having a good night's sleep. That also provides the optimum time for your body to repair itself um, and build that muscle, right? That's when all the magic happens is that night. You know what I mean? Okay, and up, and bring it in, in. So our muscles repair themselves when we sleep, and that's when all the little fibers that we've torn apart during our workouts have time to grow and build. Also, we know that adequate amount of protein helps with that and is needed for that 
And uh, don't think just because you start eating protein powder, you're going to start looking like Arnold. That's all in the training, my friends. All right. So let's switch it up. If you want to look like that, you got to train like that. All right. Twelves. Palms in. And we're going to reach right down, up, and switch. Up, and switch. Good. Keep the head up, core tight, always. Good. Bring the hips forward, down, up. And if your legs are, keep them out. I might even try the black band for the last one. I know it's super hard, like it's super hard. I'm gonna get everything warmed up and ready. Keep that head up. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna switch this down to fives to start. All right, swing up. Swing up. So squatting down, knees out, and stick. Stick. Good. And breathe out. Out. Keep your arms down. shoulders. All right. Grab some water. Get ready. Down for kicks. Round two. Out and in. Good. work all like a group of muscles. Excellent. Kick it out. Ten. Nice and high. In and out. Whew. All right. Switch up those legs. Give a little rest. Give a little stretch out. All right. Out. Good. Kick it and squeeze. In. Tighten those abs. Kick and squeeze. In. Tighten those abs. Good. Fifteen. Excellent. Good. All right. Let's put this aside. Let's get set up. Our bands. All right. So legs out and kick out and up. Really good for your balance. And this is excellent. So I always talk about alternating leg exercises for cyclists and runners and how good it is to do this individually for strengthening their legs separately. So you get all the muscles and ligaments 
strengthening around the ankles, knees, hips, quads, calves. You get it, right? So bring the shoulders back, core tight. Good. Awesome. Okay. So let's try the tens. All right, you ready? Squat down and up. Down and up. Down, up. 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 Good. Down. Boom. Oh, yeah. Feel it in the shoulders. This is good. Perfect weight. Might take a couple breaks. Up. Remember, listen to your body. We've got 50 seconds here. Oh gosh. Awesome. Boom. Round two done. Can't believe it. Woo! Go back to that donkey kick. together, out, release, in, good, kick out, good, 10, Switch up the feet. Get ready. And out, up, and in. Crunch the abs. Out, up, in. Crunch the abs. Number three, done. Okay, so I said I was going to try the mega hard band that I oof, hardly ever use. Okay, all right, so stretch. Oh yeah, kind of goes with my outfit too. So straight. If you need to touch down, touch down. Keep it back nice and tight. So up, shoulders back, abs. Good. Excellent. Boom. Good. 10. Excellent. You know, I was scared about this band. It's not too bad. Really feel it though. All right, so I'm gonna keep it on. Last round. Oh yeah, absolutely no give to this thing. Okay, so let's go. Squat up. Squat up. Oh yeah, I can feel the resistance. Oh yeah. Keep going. This last one, boom, tighten those abs, oh. throw those dumbbells up or don't, nice and control, down, 15, let's 
do this. Oh gosh. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a break. And last one. Wow. Ooh, that, that was good extra resistance. Okay. Who needs to do cardio? This is enough. Okay. So we're going to be moving over here. Bring your stability ball. Everything ready. So I can only go like this. So you can see my bike. I'm just gonna put that there. No, it's not gonna stay. It's gonna stay here. Okay, so I've set it up. I've got my, my lanyard here. Okay, and I'm gonna use the red band. Okay, so this red band here, it's the strongest out of the three. It's gonna give me the most resistance that I want. So a lat pull down is typically from the ceiling, but we're gonna be working it from the door, okay? So elbows out, see? So you're bringing the shoulders together, so it's almost like a back row, but we're really trying to engage the lats here, okay? Um, if you happen to have something that you can attach to the ceiling would be optimal for bringing down, engaging these muscles here, but this is what we have to work with. So that's one. Then we're just gonna stick in this area. We're gonna bring our stability ball out. We're gonna bring our band that we were just working with, and we're gonna sit on it. So make sure, you guys still here? Okay. So we're gonna sit on the band on the ball and we're gonna do our shoulder press, okay? So core tight. And the nice thing is, is that you can make your bands harder, okay? The only difference is you're not gonna sink the same resistance from both sides, but you get the snap back that you need to control. And then from here, we're just going to flip it over and we're gonna do our tricep extension. Okay, so a lot of tries this week. Boom, we love it. Okay, so that's what we're doing. And that's our setup. So get to your door, get that ready. Grab some water. And we're gonna get started. Okay, let's do it. All right. Stability balls, man. They're always in the way. Okay, sitting back, pull. And you want to really think about and feel your lats engaging these muscles here, okay? So up and release. Breathe out and in. So they're part of your back. So really hold them here and release. Keep your head up. If you need, you can shimmy back a little bit more for a harder pull from your band. All right, perfect. Let's grab that stability ball. You got, got away from me. You're going to sit on your band. There we go. And you're gonna hold your band's palm out and press up and down. So right here, I want you to think about engaging those abs, okay? Good, up and down. Head up, press. Think about those shoulders, yeah. So, the thing is, you don't want to drop your elbows low. You want to keep them directly across, so like a 90 degree. So again, this is where your mirror is so important to have like a check of what 
your skill or technique look like, okay? So I can see myself in the camera here, so I can always do checks. And um, all right, so staying on your ball, arms up, and we're going to have our elbows glued to our ears and drop and up. So again, just sitting, abs tight. Good. Up. Hold. Tempo down. Press up. Tempo down. Press up. Tempo down. Press up. Good. Oh yeah. Can you feel the backs of your arms burning? One, two, three, up, one, two, three, down, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, down. So sitting nice and tall. Think about it. your abs are engaged. And breathe. Out and in. Good. Head up. Round two. Good. Excellent. Okay, so draw the shoulders and let's get those elbows in. Test our band. Make sure they feel kind of the same. They don't feel the same. And press up and down. Oh my god. Ow. So the nice thing is, is that you can lighten the resistance on your band. If you feel it's just a little too much, like my shoulder, my, ah, uh, there we go. That's a good medium. Again, core tight. You're sitting on the ball. Maybe you want to move around a little bit, just engaging those abs and press up and down. 10. This is like all week coming together right here. Oh. Oh. Is it just me? All right. Put a ball there. Grab some water. And pull, hold, really engage the back muscles. Head up. I want your core tight. You can engage those glutes at the same time. Really become very aware of your body. So let's keep it straight up and down. Up. So try not to bring these together like I was doing before. It really changes up the feeling. Good. Bring those back shoulder blades together. Good. I 
Excellent. All right, last one. Underneath your bum. And up. Good. Remember, core tight. Good. Press. And up. Good. Just down, 90 degrees. elbows together and pressing up. Good. Hold and slowly down. Up and slowly down. You can really feel it. Great. Slowly down. Good. Excellent. Twelve. Boom. Oh. oh yeah. All right. So let's move. Good stuff. Let's move back over here and down for our abs. Bring the water over here. Okay, so we need our stability ball close by and our band. So if you can just get that stuck there. Bring your band here. Okay, so Russian twist. Down. Okay, so this is a couple ways you could do it. Okay, let's just move stuff aside. See so have space. Um, okay, so Russian twist. You can either do it from here. It's basically a side to side, okay? So you can put a pillow in between your knees. I want you to be holding something and squeezing so you're working the inner thigh muscles, okay? So you can use your stability ball and we can go side to side. So really working the obliques this time. You could do it more advanced. Bring it over and over. Okay, so I'll let you decide how you want to do your um, Russian twist. Next one is we're going to try this. So I do want you to hold both of your bands together and we're going to twist down. So it's a real twist of those obliques and down. So this is a single arm right and a single left. We're not alternating, okay? So you're really going to get the burn from both sides. And then the next one is the same. Okay, so holding, so the knee up, holding, and you're going to be touching. So see that? Right, so you're going to be squeezing. We're going to hear lots of little back farts if you've got a sports problem like this and you're on the floor, not the carpet. All right, so that's our lineup for abs. Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna start at the knees. Our 
arms out and twist. So you lean right down. So you're squeezing your stability ball, not too hard. I don't want you to strain those inner thigh muscles, but I do want you activating them, right? So that's the whole point. If you don't have the stability ball, you can squeeze a pillow and you go right, center, right. Okay, so don't swing it over. You want to center yourself, ground here, then go over. And do it. All right, good. Okay. All right, so let's put our stability ball somewhere. It's not going to roll away. And get in the way. Stay. Okay, so both knees on the band, and we're going to be holding like this and twist. So we're going to do right and then left, or left and then right. Head up, twist, down, twist, down. Breathe out, breathe out. 20. So you're really kind of pulling with this right arm. All right. So staying here, we're going to be pulling with the left arm. So kind of working that shoulder at the same time. Okay, working those obliques. All right. going to bring my nice little sweater here. I'm going to land this because I know that I'm going to be fully distracted with all the back parts. Okay, so knee up, hand, and touch. Back, touch. So try not to drop that leg fully down. You want to bring the abs up. Try and touch that ankle. Good. Oh yeah. Keep it going. Don't wander off to what you have to do today yet. <laughs> We're almost done. Putting the final touches on your total body workout. Oh yeah. Bring that leg up and crunch. Okay. Getting set up for the next one. And touch. Boom. Oh gosh. Hello. Oh wow. guys, gals, 15, good, excellent, oh my, oh. wow, oh Russian twist, okay, so I'm going to stick with, okay, I'm going to go, I'm just going to do it. 
So if you're gonna do it this way, take your time, squeeze the ball, bring it over, and then use those abs to really whip that ball back over. Good, good, keep breathing. Excellent. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm not going to be able to bend over. Or I'm not going to be able to get up. One of the two. Ten. Let's do this. Round two. Oh. Okay. We get into our with chopper position and oh gosh up twist boom using it as an excuse to stop, but if you need to take a rest, please take the rest. I do. I don't feel bad about it. Oh. All right. Get ready. Off to the right. standing position too, but since I've got everything on the floor, I'm just going to do it from the knees. Let's go. Round two, almost done. second round of this is just the icing on the cake. I don't know if you can feel it. Water, round three. Right, let's 
Let's do this. Finish it up strong. Pitter patter of little feet. Stairs. It's a quarantine life. Interesting. I have not slowed down since this started. It's crazy. Good, keep it going. Last one. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, All right, let's do this. We're going to switch it up and start the right this time for the last round. And twist. Twist. Head up. Breathing. Good. Let's do this. Pull that band. Boom. Give myself a little bit more band. It's like a full-on blizzard outside. This is crazy. Ugh. Boom. All right. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Working those shoulders, too. Really twist. Feel it. Boom. Rolling them out. Excellent. Good. Nice. Oh. All right. I don't know about you, my shoulders are dead. Dead. All right, last, last two. Are you ready? Let's do this. Not too fast, really. Take it slow. Stretch and crunch. Stretch and crunch. Good. Excellent. going 20 seconds. I love Tabata. This is so, such a good workout. And I don't have to worry about counting. That's the best part. Just counting out 20, you just feel like you want to cheat and only do 10 or 15. This way you just get as many as you can in the allotted time. I love it. I used to do lots of boot camps. And this is how I would roll with the stations. stuff. All right, this is the last one. Keep it going. Keep it strong. Good. Three, two, one. Oh. Good job. Oh, if I could retire, I'd give you a high five. High 10. Excellent. 
Let's stretch everything out. Oh yeah. Stretch the shoulders. Let's roll side to side. And let's open up the back. And let's stretch out the abs. Flip it over. And up. Down. Right, stretch the legs. Let's get that ball right in there. And just hold on to it. And just stretch out. on the ball it just allows you to like really get into a deeper deeper stretch oh that side really needs it I'm telling you all right Let's put that aside put that aside Let's stretch our body into that child's pose so bring the legs out and you want to just reach right forward Bring your head down, neck or chin to the floor. You really feel it stretch in the hips. Good. And you can bring your arms to the side and stretch it as well. All right. Okay, guess what? We're gonna stretch our hamstrings. Oh. You know how good this is for everybody, especially our cyclists and our runners. We just bring that, bring that leg in and pull it in. And the nice thing, like I was saying, like these bands, um, allow for stretch, right? And up. And really stretch the back of your legs. Press out the knee and in. Good. Let's switch it up. Let's stretch. And we'll just bring the knee out and bring the heel to your crotch and just pull and release, pull and release. And up. Oh gosh, that's really good. I'm glad I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing it. Okay, last one. Over. And hold those legs. Excellent. Good. And touch that toe even better. I know that's super advanced, but um, that's something I've been making sure that I can do for years, it's crazy here, um, and it just assures me that everything is okay. Um, so with that, oh my gosh guys, excellent job, keep it up, keep showing up, and um, next week what we'll do is we'll go back to some BOSU stuff for Tuesday, Thursday. And put in the comments what exercise, like I have medicine balls, 
Um, maybe we'll do those. Let's do some medicine balls next week. And I'll add some BOSU stuff in the workouts. So put in the comment what kind of equipment you would like to see like a specific workout wrapped around. Like as you see, I've got like those bars over there. I've got the sandbags, um, body bars, stuff like that. So put it in the comments because I can put it together. We can do more kettlebells. You know, there's just not enough days in the week for all these workouts. Um, and um, yeah, I'll do them. And if there's like a muscle group you want to target, um, I think we just kind of get everything. But if there's something you want to see specifically, put in the comments and I'll, I'll put something together. But um, so like every week, Tuesday, Thursday is dedicated to a specific piece of equipment. And Monday, Wednesday, Friday is for you guys who are showing up regularly um, for like your home-based workout. So with that, have an amazing weekend and make sure that you get outside and do something. If you're in my area, maybe just hiking, maybe a cold bike, but don't forget the importance of recovery drink. And if you have protein powder or a recovery drink like this, then it's something you definitely want to get in the habit of consuming after a hard workout like this. So you don't have to be like in the gym working like heavy weights to tax your body. This is enough, okay? You're working hard, ripping down muscle. You need to think about a good repair, muscle repair, something to follow. And I recommend this, the Amped Repair, I have my protein powder that I've been using and I can recommend it to you. I'll put it in the link um, below in the comments below and you can check it out. Um, but you know, there's so many products out there um, and uh, just make sure you get one really good one. With that, have an amazing Friday.